deep in the forest lives a little deer. She's extremely shy and she only come out once every Halloween night. In this year's Halloween, I will be doing a transformation video into this enchanted deer creature. There's really no right or wrong way of doing this and you do not need this costume for the full look. This is just how I would view myself as a deer. If you would like to purchase the costume for the full look, please click on the link down below and it will take you there. achieve an even doe eye look, I will be using the Decorative Eyes Contact Lens by Pinky Con. The link of the product will be down below if you are interested in purchasing. If you have really nice and clear skin, go ahead and spot treatment instead of putting on your full foundation because it's really not that necessary, especially when you're going to be doing a lot of contouring anyway. But since I am going to spot treatment, I really need an even skin tone and really, like I said, these stuff can really be skipped. Since I already have makeup on, I'm just going to lightly dust a little bit of powder foundation all over my face to kind of even my skin out. Now I'm going to set my makeup with the Givenchy Prude Premier. Next I'm going to be contouring my face with the Stella as well as the Shade Light. Now let's be honest, usually when we buy a contouring kit or an eyeshadow kit, there's certain color that we use and there are other colors that never get touched. This Halloween, I decided to be a deer because now I can finally use these other contouring color that I never use. Just like this Makeup Forever eyeshadow, which I have bought for over two years and this is my first time wearing it, which is really sad, I know. But to be very honest, it does its job. It really is white and I really love the creamy texture because it kind of helped build as a base so that I accept any eyeshadow or any color I apply to my face and that is what I will be doing next. Now I'm using white where I'm going to make myself look ridiculous but the whole point is I like to apply the light and then the dark because in my opinion it just works out better this way. Now that we look like Mickey Mouse on crack, we're now going to use the darkest color in our foundation to create our little brown contour area of the deer face. And honestly, oh my god, this just proved that I do not look good tan. I'm never tanning. Please, never let me tan. So now I'm just going to outline the eye area as well as the mouth area, kind of give the deer its little face. Using the same shade, I'm now going to shade and darken my shoulder, bring up my neck, this way I can give myself a base for me to add spot on later. And this way you can contour your boob and make it look bigger too if you wish. Okay, let's start working on the details of the face. I'm now going to work on the eyebrows and honestly this is the best time for you to try out different eyebrows. It does not have to arch. Go with your regular eyebrow, do the square, do the cross, play around with it because you're not yourself and Halloween is the only day that you'll be able to try out all these other shapes and feel that it's okay. The nose shape of the deer is really up to you. I'm just using a black eyeliner and I'm just going to draw a cute little nose for myself and this Hitler stash. Okay, I'm not feeling the stash. So, ah, there we go. I erased the bottom and I made it into a pointy tip, which I like a lot more. And now I'm just going to outline the top part of my lip and using a purple eyeliner, I'm just going to use that and line my lip with it. You can always go over it with purple lipstick to give it the shine. I'm now going to kind of smear a little bit on the bottom, kind of ombre it out. This way it can give the deer a cuter feature. I'm going to give my eyes a little more definition by adding a light brown. You can use gold or light pink and dust it over your eyelid just to give it a little crease shadow. 
Okay, so it's time to give this deer or fawn her spot. I'm using Mica Beauty and it's a talc-like kind of powder. And the best thing about this is it reflects light really well, so I really love using them. If you mix this with a little bit of water, it becomes an eyeliner kind of material. And in the same time, it becomes more vibrant and less powdery-like, I guess? And now I'm going to work on the other side as well as add some more dots, big and small, on my body as well as across my forehead. Yay, the tedious part is done. Let's work on our eyes. I'm simply just lining the waterline on my upper and I'm leaving my lower one alone. And after this, I'm going to just wing my liner. But honestly, for a doe look, you want to round it out. But honestly, it's really up to you on how you want to look as a deer and this is just how I like it. Next we're going to add our falsie because falsie just make everything so much more amazing. You honestly want really really thick false lashes for Halloween especially when you want to really bring more focus to your eyes and here's how they look on. Flutter away! The last part to this tutorial is combining the real and false lashes. I'm using the they're Real by Benefit Mascara and I'm going to add this to my upper and lower liner and honestly you can wear lower false lashes if you like but that's just not my thing. So I'm just going to work with my hair and honestly I really want to show off my spots so I'm just going to put my hair up in a bun. I will style it later. And this is the finishing look after I put on my antler and my costume. I feel like such a beautiful little fawn. I feel so innocent. So excuse me, I'm just going to model it out a little bit. I wanted to let you know that if this was Halloween, I would literally spot my whole way around my whole body and my legs so it looks more like theme. But instead of this costume, you can wear anything in the color brown, a nice white dress, and really it's you expressing who you are as a deer. So anything goes and it's really up to you. And you can even add a little blush to this, which I found to be really, really adorable. But anyways, if you would love to purchase the costume, it is available at loveshantae.com. The link will be down below and it does come with antlers. Anyways, drop me a comment. Let me know what I should do next for my next Halloween costume tutorial. Would you like a DIY or would you like another tutorial? Let me know by comment down below and let's see if we can get 400 likes on this video. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it. And don't forget to share this with anyone who you think would be really fond of this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the like button and I hope you have a nice, safe, Happy Halloween. Bye-bye.